Hey, today I wanted to talk all about time blocking and why this has been so important for my business. So in this short video, I'm going to walk you through my system so you can incorporate something similar for your studio. Uh, some bit of background right now, I work two days a week, Thursdays and Fridays, and I still run a full-time design studio and teach design students as well. So um, I have a lot on my plate, but I'm able to do that within 10 to 15 hours per week. And the reason for that is I have really clear priorities. In fact, I have them written right here <laughs> on my notepad. Um, and I also have time blocking strategy in place that allows me to really focus on the things that are important. So with minimal work hours in the week and I have kids at home, I really have to focus on things that are actually moving my business forward. And I was recognizing there are places that I was getting distracted, um, things that aren't necessarily bad, but with minimal work hours, I just didn't have time to be perusing Instagram so often and um, thinking up new ideas and things like that. So um, this is my strategy. Hopefully it's helpful for you and let's just dive in. So first of all, um, my strategy is to have what I call like a weekly template for um, my studio. So every week I have the exact same template and I use something called ClickUp. You can use Asana or Trello, whatever works for you. Um, and I've just followed that template each week and we'll get into what that actually looks like in a little bit. But before doing that, it's really important to know what your priorities are. So um, I even backed up to looking at my last year's revenue and I wrote down the percentages for each revenue stream. So services, um, and I divided that into like my, my main package or my day rate service, um, my courses or mini classes, things like that. And it really helped me see that a lot of my income was coming from really two places. And those other things that I was interested in, um, but they weren't bringing as much ROI in, maybe I didn't need to be spending my time there. So I'd recommend uh, jotting down, going back in QuickBooks, whatever um, bookie, bookkeeping software that you use and go back and look at that and then see if there's anything um, that's really telling to you as far as where you should be spending your time. And then on top of that, there's other things that aren't going to be necessarily revenue driven, but they're lead generators. So they feed into like your services or courses or whatever you sell. Um, and so those are obviously worth pursuing as well. Like Instagram might be that lead generator for you. It's not for my studio. I have other lead generators that I focus on. So look at those and then also ask yourself, do you enjoy it? I'm not a fan of doing stuff that you don't enjoy. So feel free to cross off anything that you don't enjoy. Next up, I would recommend listing it out. Um, what I did is I took two um, just a notepad and I wrote down all the tasks that I've done um, that I kind of do on like a weekly and monthly basis. And you could also do something like that with Toggle if you already are time tracking. And look at like where you're actually spending your time and seeing if anything isn't like necessary that you can eliminate. If there's anything that you can delegate, if there's something you don't enjoy, definitely cross that off or delegate it. And then next to anything that's left, I would put if it's like a daily, weekly, or monthly task. So for instance, maybe design work for clients you do um, daily, maybe uh, updating your site you do monthly, things like that. So write down a long list, cross off anything you don't wanna do or you can eliminate or delegate. Anything left, you need to assign it to daily, weekly, or monthly. So from there, we're gonna schedule it out. Um, this is where those time blocking templates come in handy. Uh, what I do is is kind of like a loose structure is I have um, a, what I call like my first priority of the day and then the second priority of the day. And remember, I just work two days of the week. And so I only have really like four slots to fit in stuff there. Um, and I have those loosely categorized. So maybe for you, one first priority could be um, client work. And so that's like, you know, two, three hours that you're actually you don't check email, you don't do anything, you're just deep in doing client work. And maybe another priority for you is um, marketing. And so that's another two hour, three hour chunk of your day where you're actually working on blog posts, podcasts, um, connecting with other designers or referrals or something like that. 
Um, just look into what your main priorities are and see if you can come up with buckets that you can put into like your first and second priority of the day. Um, and then from there, I have an email time blocking section that's only 30 minutes long and I have that twice a day. So this has really helped me and I, I can't say I've definitely kicked the habit of checking email constantly, um, but I have a scheduled time where I will go in and that's when I check email and respond to it. And I'm actually shocked sometimes that I don't have as many emails as I would think, as you would think, uh, because I used to just check email constantly, you know, just out of habit, have the tabs open or something like that. So having an actual scheduled time to check email has been really helpful for me in my productivity and making sure that I'm doing my other priorities as well. Um, another important note is that I actually do like the first priority of the day before checking the email. And that's really helpful for me to not get lost into um, like reactive mode. So if something comes in my email, sometimes I want to get to it right away, you know, archive it, move on, um, respond to that person, do the task, whatever is needed. Um, but actually doing the first priority of the day helps me get something done that's prioritized my business and then getting to email. Um, and I would just say that, you know, CEOs of other companies I doubt that they're logging into their email first thing in the morning, checking what's there and letting that dictate their day. Likely they have kind of a schedule to follow. And so that's been really helpful for me in like shifting how uh, my go-to is, which is checking all the time to really scheduling in those times. It, it really takes a lot of discipline. Um, and then next up is scheduling in those monthly tasks. So things like website updates, um, all that kind of stuff. So you can go in and schedule in those tasks. And I like to use ClickUp for that as well. So um, I'm gonna just walk you through an example of my uh, time blocking template here. Okay, so here we are in ClickUp, and this is an example of one of my days that I have time blocked. So this is a design day. So first up, I have just kind of project management for that design day for an hour and checking in with my designer and client and overseeing that creative direction and project management. And then this section here is um, my first priority and then my second daily priority. And I have categorized this as product development. So I'm off today, I'm not doing that right now, but um, I have in here ongoing lists. So this is what I do once I add, once I have new items on my to-do list, I go into which priority task they fall into and I just put them in there. And then I have this ongoing list here. So this repeats, it's recurring every single week on Friday. And then on Thursday, oh, everything's already checked off from there. I have my first priority, which is client work and stuff like that. And I have the ongoing list in there as well. And then check in again with Slack and Basecamp. Uh, check email here, this is an hour block. And then lunch, and then my second daily priority. And this is more of the um, like self-promotion type of category which is sometimes I have continue first priority if I didn't finish something there. And then I have website updates and then I have those listed here of things I wanna update. So this is really helpful for me to have these buckets and so I don't have like an ongoing list somewhere else. It really helps categorize it and prioritize it. And then um, invoice clients, update QuickBooks, set the priority list on Basecamp for one of our design day clients, check email at the very end of the day and then leave office. And then let me go to next week is the same type of structure here. Looks like I forgot to check off something. Um, email, I think. But anyways, you can see that there's kind of the same type of structure here. Our second daily priority, first priority. Uh, a lot of the similar stuff in each of the days. Um, but that's about it. In ClickUp, you can do this really easy. You can do this in Google Calendars or Asana. Um, each of these are recurring, so I just log in um, each of my work days and I can just click on whatever is there. So I have a list of things to do. So right now I'm doing tons of course updates. Uh, so that's what's there right now. All right, and there you have it for my really simple and minimal time blocking method that's allowed me to work 10 to 15 hours a week and still run a uh, profitable design studio. Um, I really like this method because it helps me stay productive. It gives me clarity on those priorities. It allows me margin, like you had that whole section on there for website updates or um, product development, if you're like me, like doing new products and things like that. Um, I build that into my schedule so it's not back-to-back -back client work. 
And then it really simplifies my schedule and work. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next week.